Clamp the cable on there. I've got a cable, but I've just got a plain cable. I haven't got a wire cable. I've been phoning around to see if there's anywhere that's got it. Yeah. Don't know if you want to jump on that to find somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sigma is probably the best bet, but it's the other side of town. I don't know what time they're open to. We have to go jump a tube, grab it. Yeah. Everything's failing today, mate. Everything I touch is just turning to shit. excited when I'm in a hotel buffet so <laughs> nobody's safe no, no 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 amount of scrambled eggs is safe but I know I think you just kind of stick to stuff that you know is not going to give you some upset tummy um, so I've gone for like some scrambled eggs and some potatoes and then just a, a bowl of cereal which is what I have every day anyway so I think it's just pretty pretty normal to just or pretty intelligent to just stick to what you normally have like if you don't usually have it don't have it for a race, which I learned very well two weeks ago. <laughs> I was banging on about carbs, 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 fueling, fueling, fueling. And I said to myself, this is an Olympic distance race, 40 minutes down the road from where we've been training. And I, it was quite a good field, like Johnny raced, Gustav raced, um, Pereira raced, and, and a whole load of others. Um, and I said to myself, you know, it's just down the road, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try to take in more carbohydrates than I've ever taken in on the bike. I had one gel before the start, got onto the bike, boom, second gel. No, no, gel. no, how much rice did you have before had the race? I had a whole ton of rice. I can't even describe how much rice he consumed before the race. So I got my gel in before the race, swam pretty well, you know, out like fifth or something. I was like, all right, sorted, easy. Got onto the bike, gel, washed it down with carb drink, which is, I've learned, a big no-no. I just was washing down gel with carb mix for an hour. Turned out I took in like 160 grams of carbohydrates on the bike, which was like, not good. Got to the front, was running at the front, and I was like, this is it, this is the day I'm gonna win a race. And I was like, I was running at the front for like 3K, in front of Johnny, he's looking back going, boom, there's Johnny Brownlee, light work, no problem. <laughs> and then like a K and a half later, I just feel this blob in my stomach, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so, I was like, for the rest of the 5k, just the death march, everyone coming past me. I looked like a wounded gazelle. And like, got gazelle. To the, got I like how you used a really grease one. Got to the finish, bleh, everywhere. Just vomit, so there you go. Eat what you're used to eating and don't overeat, is the lesson. Don't overeat. Uh, I'm having a. As much as possible. <laughs> high fiber cereal with some yogurt, grapes, dried grapes, fresh grapes, and dried grapes. Papaya chunks. Dried grapes. Yeah. Dried and they not raisins. 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. And I've just had some omelette, and I'm having a cappuccino. And you both feeling excited about the race? Yeah, yeah it's going to be great. We saw big crowds yesterday night at the football, so. Hopefully we get, you know, a fraction of those crowds. We were shouting to to come Yeah, we were saying, as we were exiting the stadium, walking past the aquatic centre, we said, London Arena game, Saturday, take a ride, take a ride, you know. <laughs> Don't think they were having it, though. <laughs> 
happened is, is there was a bit of a booking mishap and um, because Johnny's not racing, we got his room, which is a very nice room, shall I say. Thank you very much, Johnny. You're missing out. <laughs> You know my dad's gonna like disown you now because you I'm just, just having a laugh. You've right? just said you were a West Ham supporter. Oh, See my bike's actually intact. Yeah, we've both got um, the same bike with integrated cockpit. Bike connoisseurs will know what that means, and that makes travelling much more difficult than it did before. Yeah. So basically the cables run through the through the frame, through the stem, through the bars. I used to take stem and bar off, put it up against the frame, strap it, and now we kind of have to figure out a way of how you can see there. The cables are just kind of sticking out, it's like you gotta just hope for the best. Yeah, I'm not sure it's really the best way to travel. Yeah, but with what, it. what other way do we do it? The, the other way is buying a black bag that has an integrated kind of an inter like you don't have to take the bars off but yeah, that's the only other way. Uh, this is a new bike. I haven't raced on it yet. So, hopefully, I mean, I would say hopefully it's going to race fast, but it probably has nothing to do with that this weekend. <laughs> new bike feels. Just that feeling, yeah. We're on the same model bike, just not the same colour. Um, Swift race box, which was kindly given to us this year by Swift, so thanks. <laughs> Oh, Max, I have your yeah. compression socks. All oh, right, I was going to say, I could have sworn I packed those. Thank you. I uh, think, um, just can't, always having someone like you can rely on if something's going wrong or... Travelling's stressful enough, so it's good to kind of just share this load with someone, I guess. And then we can both rant to each other when travelling's going really bad and we can just, like, <laughs> kiss about it and vent. <laughs> um, I think, like, being a kind of triathlon couple, I don't want to say triathlon couple, but kind of like a couple that do elite sport together definitely has its upsides and its downsides as well. I think every emotion is multiplied, you know what I mean? Because you're tired together, you're happy together, sometimes someone, one's happy, one's sad, so you really have to kind of learn to manage your emotions and kind of try to stay as stable as you can for the other because there'll be times where you've had a good race, she's had a bad race or vice versa and then you can't let your emotions affect the other person's race or therefore you you have to be there for them, you know, so it's kind of like, yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of always going through these ups and downs and I think to, to pretend that that doesn't happen is, is would kind of be dishonest but I think overall, when you've got, kind of, like Kate said, someone always there to yeah. support you, I think it really does help. Yeah. You think. It also means double the nerves around race day. Yeah. I, I usually finish my race and I don't feel relieved. I'm like, oh my god, I have to... Now I have to watch a race that I have absolutely no control over. <laughs> Kate, you're asking. Okay. Oh, thanks. Well, that's for both of us, so... <coughs> new bike day! Hashtag new bike day! I haven't put it on right. Yeah. Okay, so... Tab. Please don't get this on. Tab. No, get it on. <laughs> no, tab. don't, don't, don't. Tab on... Here, yeah, you, you put the, the bigger tab on. I know, I know there's two tabs. No, okay, we're not getting this on run. film. Don't around, don't around the bolt. Don't around the bolt. <laughs> that's good. And now it should... Yeah, and then just twist the Allen key the other way and give it a big crank. I'll clean the drivetrain a bit extra for the arena games. Like I'll make sure the chain and all the stuff that's actually touching, contacting the turbo uh, is as clean as I can because, I mean, I'm not, I've actually like consulted it. Are you all right? <laughs> Having a laugh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I forgot you I'm trying to give a monologue, piece of camera, click, do, do, Anyway, how do you actually save power on a turbo? And we've come to the conclusion that every piece that goes from the feet to the actual hub is a, like a watt saving. So I'll try to like crank my pedals a bit tighter to have minimal play in that. 
then I'll clean my chain as much as I can, the bottom bracket's nice and smooth and greased, and then the pulley wheels are clean, and I think that's pretty much all the control you can have over that. Obviously when you're outdoors you've got all the aerodynamics, tyres, stuff you know that comes into play and um but on a turbo you yeah you literally just have to worry about the drivetrain element i mean i'm still not quite sure how the algorithm works like i don't think anyone's entirely queued up but the algorithm of what of the turbo like oh. how how the power comes do you know basically, what i mean basically you weigh in super light get someone else to weigh for you <laughs> get I, might get to jump to, on the... <laughs> I might get a little kid to weigh in for you get that me. kid from the west ham match be like Get in, just lock him on the scale. <laughs> Get him in a little suit. Oh my god, A oh. watch per kilo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Mate, it's absolutely unbelievable! Will McCloy losing his mind. <laughs> we have never seen numbers like this. Oh, the joys of DI2. What's happened? Just the cable just goes, rams down. I should tape it, that's my fault. Should tape it. Là, tu portes du Nike avec euh, la Didas, quoi. She's one of the people that I've noticed can do the least amount of training into a race and still come away with an insane result. That's not true. That's actually, it is true, it is true. In Korea in 2021, she trained literally maybe a combined 20 hours over the month and did two World Cup podiums. That's, that's true. No, it's not, it's true. It's true. But isn't that, she came off with like a six week injury and then did three weeks of training and went top 10 in World Series. Not bad. It's alright for some, isn't it? <laughs> then you got me at the back, just, you know, 30th. <laughs> Jogging with the boys, 35 minute 10k. Max is an athlete. Yeah, Hard yeah. working. Um, toughs it out. Uh, I find it a bit frustrating because he trains really well, but I feel like he's yet to kind of get those kind of breakthrough results but I know it'll happen one day. Um but yeah. How are you man? Very good? Yeah. I took a shower, I cleaned myself. <laughs> you look like the full transformation. <laughs> From tramp to yeah. good looking man, Michael Buchek, 2023. <laughs> so we've kind of gone more of the approach like okay we'll just like try and eat less but like still fuel today and Whatever the weight is, the weight is. We'll just have to push harder tomorrow, I guess. It's all out anyway. <laughs> Who's your tip? My tip is Henry. You reckon? Yeah. Bro, have you seen the heat he's in from the start? Yeah, I know. With me, man. man. Crazy heat. Bro. I mean, as much as I love you, but... Uh, no, but I'm not, I'm not saying me. I'm just saying, like, it's going to be yeah. hard work to make it. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. It's, uh, it's always hard work, right? But, yeah, but... Uh, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty. I think I gotta go get my DI2 charger. I think, I don't know. I just, I just uh, I don't know, in case someone, unless someone has a DI2 charger here, but I'd be very surprised. Oh, I did this the other day, I don't know. I think, I don't know if it's like a button touching, but I'm not even getting signal, you know? Oh, bloody hell. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go quick out and back. Just casually before a race, the day before a race. <laughs> uh, it's quite a new bike, so we need some links taking out the chain. When I say quite new, like, probably should have looked. <laughs> yep, and then go back down to where you want it. That's all good. 
Mechanic. Because I've got to go and pick somebody up. Just give me the thing. Condor cycles. Just put it into Google Maps. But they shut at six, so it's really tight. Oh fuck! I pay for your Uber. He gets to get you an Uber or whatever. How, Uber. how how far is it? Thirty-three minutes on the tube. Go to go to Stratford Station. Get on the Central Line, and then you go to. Okay, I'll find it. Chancery Lane on the Central Line. Chancery Lane, yeah. Alright, okay. Thanks, Boo Check. Oh, I don't getting? know what to get you. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll send you a I'll message. message you, I'll message you. I'll send you a message. message. They've got the part ready for you. Chat called Julian. Huh? Chat Just ask Julian. Julian. Send me the message. Yeah. Eleven feet tomorrow. Eh? Yeah. Cool. I'll be too. Thank you. Oh no. Yeah. Just. Oh, I've got that a bit drunk. Hopefully it's not a very new bike. <laughs> Literally <laughs> brand new. <laughs> it is pretty unique experience to be able to like race in a stadium with like kind of family and friends watching as well and especially when it's like a home race like this, it's, it's pretty special so 
yeah, I think it's something quite unique that you can't really have in any other form of racing, so I hope I can make the final. <laughs> That's kind of the first aim, and then after that, kind of just go from there. Like, I don't really want to uh, think past the heats at the moment, like, that's kind of my main focus, so, yeah, for now. Maybe in this case, it's light. How's that cat? Scared you with Alright, there you go, goes. Oh, thank you. No problem. Good boy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. I mean, last time we were here, the final was absolutely rammed. Like, both sides was full. Watch out. Uh, and um, to walk out in front of all those people is, is always kind of spine tingling, to say the least. Like, being competitive, I think, is always, always feels good when you're in the mix and you're, and you're actually doing something in the race as opposed to just feeling like people are, you know, way better or way above you. So, um, if I can be competitive and get a good result, get some good points, get some good, you know, some good media time. Uh, that would be great. No, yeah. And uh, to see Kate do well would be nice as well. Last year, the finals in Singapore, open water. So keeping it in the pool this time. So we'll see how, how that changes things. So hopefully, yeah, have a good one. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? Thanks, man. One minute. Wow. I just made it one minute before closing. Oh, thanks, man. Where do I owe you? Huh? Where do I owe you? I'll tell you. When <laughs> not here. <laughs> it's in between two men. <laughs> so we can fix it. We can fix it properly. Oh, I forgot how these fell. Yeah, they're really hard. <laughs> they can go up towards the front and do fast cadence. Yeah, you feel like you're falling off, yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, you just got to stay at the front as long as you can. Um, hey guys, thanks for following along today uh, through our day pre-race. Uh, we look forward to racing over the Friday and Saturday on the heats and the rep charge and hopefully the final, so hopefully see you there. Yeah, thanks so much for following along and hope you enjoy the racing as well. Tune in for some action on Saturday evening. Bye. Bye. <laughs>